Hi all, let me introduce you to the live scores for Sportsbase. So if you want to use this plugin, you have to use the Sportsbase plugin, which you can of course download from the plugins with new. And that's it. And this is mine. So let me introduce it and how to use it. We have a live page. And if you want to set something up, you can go to this, which is under sports for settings, and you have the refresh rate, which is I have set this now for five seconds just to show it up. But I would recommend to set it, let's say, about 60, 60 seconds so your clients will, your visitors will get um, an updated uh, list of events every minute. And for the commentary refresh rate, if you're on the pro version, you, I would say you could set it up 30 seconds because you, you might want to write more than once a minute, right? Okay, and the live status here is to show the minutes, half time. And for some sports, you won't need that, so you can deselect it. But for some, such as, um, I don't know, a soccer, you can use that. Okay, and if this is your first time using this plugin, I would suggest that you can go to here, configuring live details, and instead of doing that manually, just set it here. Just click configure for soccer, and the live parts have been configured. What are the live parts? Well, if we go to sport with configure and scroll down a bit, you will get the live parts. So the start and the end, of course, are the essential parts and they are not here, but the other parts are here. And what do we do have? What do we have here? Well, we have the first half in soccer, the second one, the extra half, which is 50 minutes, and the second extra half, which is 15 minutes. And of course, each of this, you can go and edit it. So you can set if it's a live type, a paused, how many minutes it will have, do, does it have a stoppage minutes, some sports don't, some do, and what to show once, once that uh, part is over. So for the first half I have set it to be half time, but for other parts we'll just show minutes, because we, you never know uh, immediately if it will end on the second half so we don't want to show a finished if we are going to the extra halves and so uh, if you're not sure then just look at the minutes and when the match ends just click on the match that has ended and and that's it and for the pause period so what are those here is the penalty and that's the same text here, but this will be displayed while this event is paused. And the penalties are those, those parts with you don't track the minutes, but those are let's say at the end of and the end of a match, and we have a tie score. Then we will decide it with penalties. In basketball, it's different. So let's go here to live, and I've set it to get basketball FIBA. FIBA uh, rules and in FIBA rules each each quarter is 10 minutes long and if it's not if it's uh, in, if it's NBA or something like that you can set it up to 12 minutes and so on the first overtime is here 5 minutes second to 5 and you can also add as many as you want and here are the timeout you can set the timeout and you can also add another one such as when we have the free shots and then the minutes are paused that's fine okay that's it let me go back here and set it to soccer now we have the soccer and how do we do right here so uh, to use the live and show a live matches you will go to the calendars and when you set 
calendar and you set it as a list for now in this version you will also have this shortcut which you can then copy and use it in that way or if you also want to check it live you can just use this save it and this page will will show the live scores as you can see some of them I didn't end so they are like this but never mind those that ended it's like that and let's now go to our event add new let's let's add some teams such as those two and save it we have set it to now and we can refresh this and we'll see okay this is it like that this is our new one and now if we go to our event which is this and we set it as start live the live has started and as you can see we have the stoppage minutes which you can use we can end the horse and start the first one is also the start so we don't have the button to start it okay uh, let's go here and as you can see already it has changed so each five seconds now it will change if of course if anything has changed so let's add a goal for the bluebirds let's update it let's go here and here it is it has changed okay so in in the next five seconds it happened the miracle and we had to go and it is here in the next five seconds another two goals happened whoa so 32 in one minute that's crazy but that's fine so this is how it works for now and if you go here and click on that match we can check it out here and let's say that you're on the pro version and you can set goal in first minute goal in first minute what a shock and let's add the top let's go here and here it is Watch a shock. Oh, stupid me. And let's say substitution in 10 minutes. Sub substitute sub. I'm, I'm too, too tired to, to know how to spell that. Sub for player A, player B will do just fine now. Okay. Let's go here let's add it up check whoa or this here so as you can see the live comment commentary is also here and working so that's about it now and if you want to if you have uh, if you like it and you want to live commentary you can go just to upgrade page and right here if you want and if you're not be sure to Email me with or go to the support forum and add, add something and features that you would like to see so I can see how to add them up in this plugin.